Welcome back to Girl Talk. Our next guest is from Excellence in Dentistry. This is Dr. Amy Surgeon. She's an owner and a dentist. And Dr. Amy has uh, taught us all kinds of things specific about caring for our teeth and our dental health. But today we're going to take a step back and look at their practice as a whole, a little more general um, approach. Thanks for coming in, Dr. Amy. Thanks for having me. So, in your opinion, yes. your humble opinion, yes. I'm sure, yes. <laughs> what is the most unique thing about your dental practice? Well, our practice, uh, it feels so homey, and we call it a relationship-based relationship practice. And what that means is it, the most important thing to us is developing good relationships with our patients. You know, we realize that some people don't love going to the dentist, and so we want to really instill calmness and a kind of, um, you know, a good feeling about going to the dentist. So in our office, things feel kind of relaxed and fun. I mean, we do actually have fun. <laughs> um, and so we want that to kind of show our patients how it can be to go to the dentist. So we, um, we basically try and educate our patients about their teeth, but we also want it to be in a fun environment. Wow, so fun and comfort aren't mutually exclusive to going no, to the dentist. No, it's, it's not a fast-paced environment. It's very relaxed and a caring environment. So, Sounds good. Yeah. So yeah. tell us why or how you become that kind of practice. Well, our practice has been around for 37 years. Oh, wow. So, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It takes time and effort Absolutely. and a lot of, you know, getting the right people on your team. Mm -hmm. So um, one thing was when Dr. Hill started the practice 37 years ago, he knew what he wanted, but it does take time to develop those relationships mm -hmm. with patients. You know, yep. we have patients that have come to our office for 37 years. Like they say, I remember the first day this opened. And I think mm -hmm. that's so great because that's somebody that really knows your teeth. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's that continuity and care. Yep. Um, yep. I love yeah. that. It's yeah. great. I mean, I have patients that that I see now that maybe they saw Dr. Hill when they were a child and now they have children. Mm -hmm. And so um, the other thing, you know, that we've done over the years and, and Dr. Hill starting that is hired a great team. And that is such an important part of it. We have. Um, eight people that have been with us over 30 years out of, our, out of our 18 yeah, team members. Very impressive. So, yeah. How does this uh, type of relationship-based business, how does this affect the experience that your clients have? You know, I, I feel like they have a great experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard sometimes. Some of the things we're doing are, you know, not always mm -hmm. the most fun. <laughs> So we try to, you know, we try to have every patient leave with a smile on their face. They, um, they're very, uh, we try and make them very comfortable. We try mm -hmm. and like treat them as if they were part of our family. Well, and I think if they feel comfortable and you like joke around and stuff, it's, right. it takes the, the scariness out of it. It does. And yeah. we, so, so we try and get to know our patients and we try to involve them um, in their care as mm -hmm. well. So I really feel like we instill really great, um, really great feelings about dentistry in general and about coming to our office. I would think having that relationship um, would help doctor and patient, mm -hmm. and even hate to call a patient, person. Right? Exactly, right. Yeah, right. Um, get on the same page when it comes to determining what is the right, right. path of care. And mm -hmm. you, you just mentioned um, having the patient be involved in their care. Yep, Why don't you yep. talk about that a little bit more? So uh, some people might go to an office and, you know, the the dentist or the assistant might say, this is what we want you to have done. And they say, okay. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> well, I think that we do a good job of listening to what's important to the patient and saying, okay, what are your most important things to take care of? What are you feeling right now? What do you see when you look at your smile? And really prioritizing things according to how they're feeling and seeing their smile, as well as if they're having any discomfort, of course. Sure, you're guiding them as well. Exactly. Yeah. And we give them options, too. There's, there's going to be different options for dental care, and that's what I tell people when they first come. They might have heard this at another office, but at our office, we're going to give you some options. Hopefully, you can you know pick one that works for you, and um, we work together to educate them about the different um, you know, consequences sure. of different options. So, yeah. yeah. So, real quick, tell yep. us what other aspects aspects of healthcare do you focus on? So, one of the things we do is we really look at the patient's medical history. Mm -hmm. And say a patient has diabetes or heart disease, we'll talk to them about how if they have something going on in their mouth that could be affecting their um, systemic disease. So, that's mm -hmm. one thing we really do look at their medical history extensively. The other thing is we do blood pressure checks. So every time you come into the office, you get a blood pressure check. And yep. people ask, well, why are you doing that? And you know, some people see their dentist 
way more often than they see their medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And we're not trying to make a diagnosis about blood pressure. We're just doing a screening for them because they come see us every six months, many yep. patients. And the other thing is, um, Dr. Hill really does a lot of work with patients in sleep apnea. Um, so if somebody is, that he works with the physicians to determine if an oral appliance can be used for sleep apnea. Okay. We're going to have to bring yep. you back, Amy, because okay. we are out of time. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid to say, okay. there's always so much more to talk about. We do have to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about a type of exercise that will make you women feel strong and sexy. <laughs>